All right, Guy Shimbury here again from WeatherTech Roofing. Um, Bo here behind the camera decided that I should talk about family interests. Anyway, I grew up in the roofing industry. Um, I was probably the only child in my family that had uh, any amount of college or amongst the roofing of us. There was five families at one time in the Hemet area that ran roofing companies. Um, I figured I'd never be a roofer. Well, here I am now. I'm in my 60s and I'm the only one left in the industry other than my son who works here and will probably take over this business. You know, Timothy's in here too and he'll take it over, which Timothy is not my stepson despite if everybody thinks. Anyway, um, but my Uncle Tony taught me how to roof. Uh, Tony was a great guy. He had a laugh for everybody. He always joked with everybody. Um, I've never seen the man have a bad day and he worked on the roof every day um, and he taught me how to roof so um, he's passed you know about two years ago now um, but he swung that hot mop and he did everything and uh, he was a great guy um, he was one of 13 in his family he was the oldest and he was uh, there's still two living so two females all the men have passed and uh, anyway, little history, not a big deal. It's all family. Take care. Talk about Uncle Tony a little more. Uh, Uncle Tony? <laughs> Uncle Tony was just a practical joker, you know. Um, but mainly, he just liked to tease people, and uh, he was always in good humor. He didn't. He wasn't a vicious person teasing, and uh, you know, you show up. It's kind of hard to talk about Uncle Tony too much, other than you know he was just always a friendly guy with everybody. Um, everybody liked him, but he was definitely a hard worker. He, he loved horses. Uh, you know, in his younger years, he had a Arabian horse that he would show, and uh, you know, that was his thing. And as he got older, you know, horses are kind of expensive to take care of, and uh, roofers don't make a lot of money, despite the fact what people think. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, he was just a good, steady worker and a good man. Uh, it's hard to talk to him about him anymore. I can't think of any really jokes other than when we played around with a lather, Willie Parker, you know, I mean, he'd put stuff in our trucks and we'd put stuff in his trucks. And, and uh, you know, we uh, basically here in Hemet, we mainly did all the work for all the McMorrans. And anybody that lives in a McMorran house, be it known that uh, the house was built like a family built it. Everybody worked together. We all knew one another, and if we needed something, we didn't bury it on the job. We called that tradesman over and had it corrected, and so they're all quality built homes. Anyway, enough, enough for that. <laughs>